Hello, hello, everyone. Cheeky here. Today, we're going to finally talk about the last anime this season. The 2022 spring season, right? Yeah. The last anime that comes out that I'm going to be watching came out today, which is A Couple of Cuckoos. Also, I just wanted to throw this in here. I figured this would be a decent time after we're finished talking about the anime for me to talk about the anime that I decided to drop today as well. I have dropped a couple of them. Um, and some I'm kind of on the fence about, to be honest. I figured we'd kind of do a kind of summary of the uh, partial season as we've gone through so far, right? All right. So <clears throat> let's talk about a couple of cuckoos first here, shall we? So, it starts out about this uh, boy named Nagi, who's a second year high school student, as anime typically have their romance be. Um, and it's about him meeting this girl named Erica, and also about him meeting his birth parent. Because what happened is he and another child were switched at birth, basically. And 16 years later, they finally figured it out. And parents got together and they were like, let's meet our real kids. And so they decided to do that. So episode one starts with uh, the meeting taking place later in the evening. His parents go on ahead to talk to the parents of the other child. Meanwhile, Nagi's like, I'm going to go study. And then I'll go to the place later, right? And so he wanders around outside. And he sees a girl who happens to be this Erica girl, the one with the uh, the pinkish kind of hair in the front. And uh, she's crouching on top of this like uh, over roadway bridge thing, right? And she looks like she's about to jump. So he rushes over and like pulls her off. And in the process, as one does, accidentally cops a feel of her breasts, right? And so... This opens up the way of why she was doing this, because she wanted to send this to her mother or whatever, because she is in an arranged marriage that she does not want to be in. And so she blackmails Nagi with a video of him grabbing her breasts to have him fake be her boyfriend. And so they basically go on a date in the first episode, trying to get pictures of him and her being close together that she can send to her parents to be like, I already have a boyfriend, cancel the fucking arranged marriage, right? <clears throat> so they go through all this, have a little date in the town, trying on clothes and all this stuff, right? And then the girl goes away, she goes back home and whatnot as evening approaches. And then Nagi goes to the meeting, talks to the parents, and they were like, by the way, Nagi, we both like the children that we have, but we also want to like get to know our actual biological children. So we decided what would be the best thing to do would be to have our biological children get married to each other. So that way, all four parents can be the kid, uh, be the parents of these two kids, right? That way, uh, they won't have to like go live with each other, um, biological parents, and kind of get rid of the you know, parents that they grew up with, right? And so, he's an arranged marriage that he did not know of. The twist comes when Erica arrives at the dinner party, and is revealed to be the person who he got switched at birth with. And the arranged marriage she was talking about was with him, and he is supposed to be getting married to her. And so the, uh, the pictures that they took and the one that they sent to her father, and he just kind of laughed off when he saw it, makes them seem like the parents seem like they're already dating and like everything's going to work out. So it's kind of a... Uh, show like that, where it's, uh, are they going to get together? Are they not? They seem kind of hesitant about it, but Erica seems kind of like she's into it after the first date thing happened. Nagi has a crush on someone else that he is interested in. And 
basically in order. I'm going to go a little bit of the manga territory with this, but basically the girl that he likes from his school, she is like the number one in the grade. And in order to like have his feelings for her like uh, returned or whatever, I think she told him that he needs to like beat her in like academics and stuff. Right. And so he's been studying for like years to like do this. Uh, Cause I think he knew her in middle school like that. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but anyway, that's kind of the long and short of it. So he's still trying to get this other girl while Erica might have feelings for him. And it's kind of their parents are being like, Hey, you two should, uh, you two should like marry. Uh, so we can have both of you be our kids, you know, it'd be great. And, uh, it's kind of like a weird thing, but yeah. Also there's other drama that comes in later. And after watching this, I remembered why I think I dropped the manga. I either caught up to the manga English translation or I dropped it. But I remember something I didn't really like ends up happening. Something that gets really shady and adds a lot of drama into the, uh, the show. And I didn't really like that. You know? And so I was like, eh. Weird. But with it being an anime, maybe it'll be a little less awkward and weird. And I don't know. We'll see. That stuff's probably going to be the finale, if I have to guess. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. Anyway, that's about all. It seems like it's going to be decent. It's apparently, oh my God, it's 24 episodes long. And it started in like the, like a fourth of the way through the series. Bruh. Man, through the season, I mean, damn, it's going to be going on for a while. Anyway, that's a couple of cuckoos, everyone. So, uh, I will be watching that seems decent it's a little bit cringy at times um so i have to skip some parts because i'm like nope that's too cringe for me sorry bro can't uh can't watch that secondhand embarrassment is just oof you know but i think i am going to enjoy it i mean i read a bunch of the manga anyway so yeah now then let's return to this background which uh, i'm noticing i'm switching between them that for some reason this picture is darker than this one. In the background, it's like I turned off the lights here. Because it makes sense because we got the, you know, projector going on the blackboard. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, cough, cough. I've decided to drop a couple of anime. And there's a couple that I'm on the fence about. So the ones that I've decided to drop and the reasons for them is, first of all, that uh, healer show. Oh, my God, I forgot the actual name of it. Uh, the, the one with the the healer is like a insulting person. Let me let me let me uh, buy. Buy. Yeah, it's the one with the healer girl who uh, insults the guy. It's 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 a uh, Kono Healer Mendokusai. That one that I thought was gonna be funny, and I was like, yeah, this is my brand of humor, but uh, I ended up. After the second episode, didn't really like it. It was just kind of weird. I don't know. It's like, I like the jokes, but for it to be, you know, like 20 minutes of just these kind of dry jokes going back and forth, it kind of was boring to me. And it just, it, it Oh, no. Like, I can't see myself watching 12 episodes of this. I just, I just can't. So, I uh, probably won't. Yeah, that's why I dropped it. Anyway, moving on to the next one that I decided to drop. It's Tomodachi Game. Which, the first episode, I was actually really hyped for. I was like, this is gonna be good. Then the second episode happened, and it turned from there being, like, somewhat like mysterious subterfuge and a kind of is there a traitor among us mystery game to there being by the way we're going to create a bunch of drama between all of these characters and none of them are going to be likable anymore yeah like the first episode built up 
the characters to make them like all seem like friends and be like decent people. And at the end of the second and third episodes, I basically don't like any of them. Even the main character who like isn't that bad, but he just like doesn't I don't know, he he doesn't do much. You know what I mean? He just kind of it's there, even though he's like, I'm going to beat this game with my friends. We're going to be in intact and everything. And he just, uh, yeah, it doesn't. After the second game happens, he just kind of fucks off. <laughs> Bad idea. And yeah, it, it's, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like it because like the point of the second game is to like get to the end of this, like, like a game of life, essentially, where you get points and you go down like a, a game board, essentially. However, if you step on a space, you can potentially have uh, more debt added to you, right? And so they didn't realize this at first. They were all going to go together, you know, one space at a time. Uh, however, after they learned that, they all started to play the game. And uh, the way that the game is played, whoever... So they have this, like, time in the beginning where they can write things about each other that put them in a negative light. Like one girl, for example, it was like, oh, such and such had plastic surgery. And so that kind of puts them in a negative light. And then there's commenters, people who are watching the game play out, who vote, and whoever gets the highest uh, amount moves the furthest spaces based on this like uh, amount system thing that they have. And so it, it devolves into them basically being like, okay, we need to actually play this game. And the main character is obviously being like, I don't want to play this game. And yet it's the mystery part of it where they're all like, yeah, well, we're going to do it anyway. So there's people who are writing stuff or perhaps the main character's writing stuff and we're just uh, like acting like we don't understand that he's doing that. Or it's all actually just rigged and no one's writing anything. And like there's people who have researched about these people and they are writing that stuff and just pulling it out saying someone wrote it i don't know regardless it got stupid like i did not like how it progressed and it, it's not like just normal stuff like oh they had plastic surgery it causes a bunch of drama because they like have their relationships under assault and the people that they like are revealed and all this other drama that involves their families and stuff like that and like one girl did compensated dating and then she freaks out when that's revealed. And like, they cannot poke her face for the life of them either. Like these are things that can be lies. You can lie about these things you put on there, but instead of being like, yeah, that's, that's obviously a lie. They're all like, Oh, they know. And they just freak out. And it's so obvious that, Oh yeah, that's true. Mm, yep. And it's like, my God. And so I was like, eh, eh, no. Like, if it would have kept going in the same vein as the first episode, where it was like a, uh, they were all seeming to be friends while trying to play the game and trying to, like, betray each other, like, while doing that, I would have been like, yeah, I'm in, let's go. But the fact that it turned so suddenly into them, like, turning on each other and producing a bunch of drama, I'm just not into it. Also, the third episode, when the compensated dating thing was brought up, I did not actually watch that entire episode. I basically watched it until that reveal occurred. The girl screamed, and then I was like, mm, I don't want to watch the rest of this episode, because in the beginning of it, it, it warns against, like, this episode's going to contain, like, bad stuff like rape and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay, nope. And that was out, which is odd. Cause like, I don't mind those things being in like shows like Goblin Slayer and stuff like that, where it's like a more fictional setting, you know, but where it's like a, a real sort of environment with like real people involved. And it's not like a fantasy world with monsters. Kind of changes it a little bit for me. 
And so I was like, no, nah, not going to not going to continue watching this because if this is what's going to happen, like it's just going to get worse with more drama being introduced between them, them turning on each other. <sighs> and it's like, Jesus. So not into it. I'm done. Dropped it. Anyway, moving on to shows that I might drop later on, um, but I'm not 100% yet. There's that Dawn of the Witch uh, anime, which was that spinoff of the Grimoire of Zero, which it's, it's okay. It's an anime to watch. But so far, I have not like been enticed by it. It hasn't really spoken to me on a, man, I really want to watch that level. You know? I'm just kind of there. Same thing with the, uh, the Virgin Road anime, where the first episode was amazing, where, like, it kind of subverts your expectations of what's going to happen in an isekai environment. And after that, it kind of goes downhill, and I'm left being like, ah, huh. this is going to play out much differently than I thought. I'm just not as into it. Because it's not as... Uh, actiony and stuff as I was expecting it to be from the first episode. Yeah. Other than that, I'm pretty sure most of the shows I'm going to enjoy. Even the one that I was like hesitant about in the beginning, like RPG Real Estate, it's turning out pretty good. Uh, it seems to definitely be Yuri bait though, uh, because the girls like or they do Yuri stuff together. That's all I can really say. Um, <clears throat> like two of them, I'm pretty sure, are actually like a thing together because they live in the same house and like blush at each other a lot. It, it's weird. And then like they also have like, uh, they, all, they all took a bath together at one point and stuff like that. But <clears throat> other than that, I mean, it's, it's, it's been pretty entertaining so far. It's not just showing them around to uh, various locations. It's them, like, meeting new people, doing different things that are kind of fantasy-related, which I think is cool. So that's great. And after the last episode, I'm suspecting that there's going to be some crazy stuff happening that's involving a dragon. So that's going to be cool. Uh, the other one that I was on the fence about in the beginning was that... Uh, uh, the Imon show, the one with the uh, the guy who played the guitar, who um, went back home to his Japanese Japanese confectionery shop that his parents run to take over, and then meets this little girl who he essentially becomes the father figure of. Um, it's been adorable. I still do not like the like highlights that they put on the characters' faces and make them look really shiny or greasy. It, it bugs me, um, but. I'm going to keep watching that one because that one's adorable and I like it. Yeah. Other than that, real quick, just to sum up great ones that I am absolutely 100% into that are entertaining. Uh, we have the Skeleton Knight in Another World anime. The Isekai where he gets you uh, sent back as a Skeleton Knight. Uh, it's, it's pretty great. All the stuff that's going on in that one. I love it. Spy X Family is just simply divine. It is amazing. Um... It's probably going to be the number one anime this season, with Skeleton Knight, for me, being number two. And then, of course, you have the Otome Mob, which, honestly, I think it's fucking great, because uh, I read the manga, so I'm really excited to see it in the anime form, you know. Uh, then you got um, the, the guy, hero who quit heroing and joined the Demon Army, which is just decent. Um, it, it's not really that great or anything, but it's pretty pretty poggers. And then you have the other uh, greatest demon lord uh, who reincarnated as a uh, rando or something like that. But uh, that, that one's pretty good, too. It's got some clean animation, excellent magic and fighting. And, uh, man, that one's just going to be fun. The rest of them are all kind of middle ground. The, uh, the summertime one, I, I haven't seen the second episode of the summertime one where they like death loop kind of thing. Uh, the kawaii girlfriend one is, it, it's cute. 
it's just cute. That's all I really about that one. Uh, the Aronson anime where it's that really short girl who's not expressive and the kind of blank, airy looking guy who becomes friends with her is pretty cool, pretty poggers. A little cringe at times, so I skip through some of it. But other than that, really, really decent. That's pretty much all. Also, I guess there's the, the second seasons for things that are coming out, like uh, Shield Hero, which is lovely and just just mm, just so good. I, it's been beautiful and pretty pretty nice. I do say so myself. Uh, and yeah, so that's really really all I got for this episode, everyone. So, actually, hold on. Summertime Render. It uh, it did have a second episode that came out two days ago, and I just missed it. I guess I uh, I, I spaced off that that one had a thumbnail that looked like that, so I just didn't did not watch it. Well, I know what I'm doing after recording this video. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> that's all, everyone. Thank you for listening. Uh. That's really all that I got to talk about for anime until the season ends. So you're going to be on a bit of a dry spell for the next, like, two months, three months, however long we got. Two to three months should be about right. Anyway, thank you all for listening. Um, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.